Hi, thank you for tuning in. In this recording, I'm going to cover a couple questions that some people have asked me and also um, that I've gotten on a couple of uh, my videos too. So just some questions, covering some questions. One is <laughs> how often should I listen to your transmissions and clearings? Another is, um, I after I listen to your transmission or your clearing, I received anxiety. Another one is, um, after I listen to a transmission, my solar plexus started to, you know, activate. So, anyways, all of these is yes. Uh, one, everything in moderation. Think of the transmissions as medicine. I'm offering you medicine. Um, this is one of the reasons why I haven't been putting out too many light language videos out uh, because they, you know, they're, they carry frequency and it really helps to remove certain blocks. And then in others, it will bring up a different type of energy that you may or may not be ready for. So the anxiety is releasing the old and also filtering in new light codes. So it's basically like getting the upgrade and you're just like, whoa, like my system's clear. I don't know how to handle this new energy. But, I, but then after a while, you'll get used to it. Okay, so, you know, just tell yourself you're, you're okay. Everything is safe. Um, it's safe to feel love. Um, it's safe to feel love. Um, a lot of us don't know how to feel love. We haven't really felt the true essence of love or God before. And that can feel frightening to some people. So, please listen in moderation. Listen when you're guided to. Do not overdose on clearings. <laughs> and um, basically, you can't technically overdose, but at the same time, when you're paying attention to certain energy fields and clearing out the energy, a certain chakra may act up like one of the... Um, questions that I got was the solar plexus. This is your power center. So in that center, if you did the clearing and then the power center, it's hurting or there's some tightness there, or there's some different type of movement there. Let the energy run itself. Okay. Um, let it run, let it organically just kind of um, transition out of the body. It's going to fall out. Whatever needs to fall out will fall out. Um, after you listen to the transmissions, you know, lots of different things can, can happen to your body. Um, for one, you're paying more attention to your inner realms, which probably are used to being ignored. Um, I like to guide you inward. So in my transmissions, in my clearings, we're going to go inside and feel and release, feel and release. Okay. When anxiety comes up, it's going to show you something. And this goes for every emotion, anxiety, fear, anger, sadness, jealousy, um, joy, happiness, everything. Just hi, what are you here to teach me? You know, thank you. What are you here to teach me? Okay, they are your teachers. They're teaching you something. We have grown to ignore it, to push anger and jealousy down and to act like it doesn't exist. It's there. It's showing you something. Learn from it. Um, this may bring up uncomfortable feelings for people. I may be triggering you just by talking about that. You may think, well, attachments are going to come to me or I'm going to vibrate at a lower vibration if I let myself feel this. No, you won't. That's just a belief. 
You cannot go backwards on your path. You're only moving forward. Um, and yeah, sit with whatever is, whatever is your teacher, whoever is your teacher at that any at that given moment, and whether it be a, an energy or an actual person, situation, whatever it is, this is teaching you something. So, um, anyways, just clarifying on my clearings and answering some questions. Um, if you have any more questions, please comment below, contact me. Um, there has been some changes. I'm still offering, I still have a lot of things to offer you guys. So I, I didn't uh, completely get rid of everything. So, uh, don't, don't worry about that. Um, so, so much love, so many blessings, and I will talk soon.